Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jiu-jitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arm. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters, some differences in height and reach. All right, now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 15 wins, three losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting from Sydney, New South Wales, Australia, Ty Bam Bam Duvasa. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. All right, so here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself think in this arena right now. Two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all the mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. And they separate. Choice the strike attempt there is blocked. Connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? He landed a good uppercut there. They're certainly getting after it early. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. That was a jab! Looking to land the right hand, he misses. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. 
Nice punch lands over the top. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attack. A oh, little single collar tie there. Caught that. Now there's danger in that too because when you start reaching on to catch that kick, here comes the high kick and you're in a lot of trouble. Connects with a right. Got the single collar tie. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Big body slam. Just misses there with the left. That's a big hook. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Tui Vasa gets tattooed with that hook. Beautifully timed and placed. All right, single collar tie now. Tags him with a flush left. Nice hook. Just misses with the right hook. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. That punch to the body does a lot of damage. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, big left hook there. So the numbers continuing to pile up here. 33 total strikes have now connected for Ty to the boss. Under two minutes to go in our first round. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. A swing and a miss by Choi. Again, they will clinch. He's so committed to body punch. Beautiful hook. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Nice loop and punch. Tui Vasa's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, what a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Trying to stay in this fight. Start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! So under 30 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. Driving the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then landing with beautiful punches. Really has got his opponent on notice here. Both guys landing with conviction now. Oh! What an end to round one. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Second round underway. It's such a fast leg kick. The Korean Superboy gets hit with a kick. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. 
beautiful leg kick thrown. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, nice right hand down. Oh, Pollard. Oh, dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Misses with that punch. Blocked there by Tui Vasa. Straight punch lands. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight. And oh, huge elbow! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Straight right. Straight right. He misses. Beautiful strike. Look at how he turns. Yeah, looks yeah. a little wobbly on his feet. Oh! Oh, he's hurt. Oh! What a fight. Oh, straight right. Oh! Oh, worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. Nice shot by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counter after blocking shots. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Well, he's really starting to land a high. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. He's got him hurt here. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Single collar tie now. Nice. Oh, sir! He's got him here. He's getting lit up right now, John. Back to the feet. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. And a miss with the right hook. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Tui Vasa's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. He's got the ground and pound going now. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Takedown defense holds up. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Whoa! was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at four minutes, seven seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl. moment and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete right i know you enjoyed the birth of your kids right yeah. you knock out a man in a cage fight i can't think of anything better i mean there's nothing like it you know you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights and tonight